show you guys how I achieved this patina, which my friend Theron has deemed the porn mod. So here's all the supplies I'm going to be using. Um, the tube I have here, it's been patina before, so it has some pitting and texture in there. And that's okay. It'll just, you know, give you a little more to grab onto. Shouldn't affect the look too much. So we're going to have ammonia, sea salt, which is combined in that spray, um, Vaseline for your threads, balsamic vinaigrette, and mustard. So first thing you want to do is sand down the mod, which I've already done that, so I think you can handle that without instruction. And then I used Vaseline on my threads, protect those from patina. Um, not everybody uses Vaseline, there's other options, that's what I like. Alright, next go ahead and string up your mod, however you like to do it. I just use some electrical tape and yarn, and yeah, that works. Before I get started, I like to wipe my mod down with alcohol. That helps to remove any fingerprints or any Vaseline that you got anywhere besides the threads. So, you know, just wipe it down. Next step, mustard. I'm going to use a paintbrush, and you're going to apply it pretty lightly, however you really want to do it, but not really thick spots like you do on other mustard patinas. Um, this just tends to do better with thinner, lighter blotches. So, here I've done all my mustard. It's pretty light. Um, plenty of spots, but plenty of space, too, if you know what I mean. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and pour some ammonia in the bottom. And I use a paper towel. Not everybody does. I think it helps to spread the ammonia more evenly without having to use as much. Okay, paper towel soaked. Now I'm going to take my spray and just spray it down pretty good all around. Next step, salt. This stuff is pretty coarse, so I smashed some up in a bag with a hammer. It's still coarse. Coarse is good, but not crazy coarse where it won't stick. So you're just going to sprinkle that salt on the mod. Not really heavy. Um, you want more of the big chunks, but you're going to get some of that powder in there too, and that's okay. Next, I'm going to use my balsamic vinaigrette. Um, shake it up real good. Put it in a smaller container. I'm using a paintbrush for this too. Um, just dab it right on your mustard. Pretty good. Um, you want to completely cover that mustard and it will run off and you want that. So there's that. I dabbed the balsamic vinaigrette on top of the mustard and it does run off the sides. You want that. You want it to spread around and I'm going to give it another quick spray before I close it up. And that's that for now. All closed up and this is going to be a really quick patina so it's only going to be about 10 minutes before I come back. It's been about 10 minutes. This is about how it should be looking at this point. And at this time, I'm just going to spray it again. I'm not going to do anything else just yet. Going pretty quick. It's only been 5 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and dab on some more balsamic vinaigrette. So, separating, I'm going to stir it up. So you get the oil and the vinegar. And then just put it wherever you want. I mean, it's going to run around anyway. You want it everywhere. Um, just keep doing that. So your timing may not be the same as mine. The first one I did took me 45 minutes. The next one was 30, and this one looks like it's going quicker. Um, I should also probably mention that I've only done this on brass, so I don't know how it would look on copper. But hey, try it. About another five minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. Once it starts getting dark, you want to rinse it because you want those nice light yellow and golds. I'm just rinsing with water. Um, you're going to rub it pretty good. Don't mind my sink full of dishes over here. I'm going to rub off all of it. So just rub it down. Really good. I'm going to scrub all that gunk off of there. So there it is. Uh, this one is a little darker than the others. Like I said, you kind of have to watch it 
because when it starts to go dark, you do start to get these darker spots. I really like it though. I think it looks good. I am going to put a coat of clear on it so you guys can see how it looks with clear. And then that'll be it. And there she is. Clear coat. Um, it is darker than I was going for, darker than I expected, but I honestly really like it. And if you don't want it that dark, like I said, just keep an eye on it because once the gunk starts to go dark, that's when you start to get these darker spots. So if you like that, leave it a little longer. If you prefer the lighter look, pull it a little sooner. But there you go. That's my method. The porn mod method.